We'll call this meeting of the Ohio County Fiscal Court to order. It's October 27, 2020 at 5 p.m. Appreciate all of y'all for coming. And I want to call on uh, Jason Bullock to do the prayer and pledge to flag. Yeah. Let's bow your head with me. Dear Lord, we just love you so much. We just thank you for the blessings you've given us in life. We just continue to pray for our county and people in the state and this country, dear Lord, as, as COVID is going through. We just pray that you will be with the uh, uh, be with those who have been affected by it, that those uh, that you will heal them quickly. Dear Lord, just uh, those who've lost loved ones this week, we just ask that you be with them and comfort their families, dear Lord. Uh, we just continue to we pray for uh, a safe recovery and uh, hopefully to move on with this soon, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we just continue to be with our uh, country and county and state as we have elections going on, that um, we pray that we will uh, put up the right person, dear Lord, to lead us and guide us and more importantly unite us there Lord we just pray for our country to be united during this time and we pray for peace the Lord again to be with us tonight as we make decisions for our county we just pray that uh, every decision we make will be uh, uh, pleasing to you and uh, uplift our county just to continue again to be with us and in your name we pray amen amen pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, everybody. Before you have the minutes of the uh, October 13th meeting, so moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second, Joe Barnes. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Any discussions, corrections, or additions to the minute? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you have the bills, payments and transfers, including the late list. So, motion by Blair County. Second. Second by Sam Small. Is there any discussion? Uh, just, just one, Judge. I noticed here where we're paying sharp lawn, lawn care uh, for the uh, mowing of North Philadelphia County Park. Uh, why is that? Well, it was in the, the park's budget, and and uh, they just got in a, a bind and, and thought that was the way to handle it. I know it was a temporary situation. It was just for the rest of this season from the time it started. Well, it's, it's not a season over. It is now, yes. With all the extra people we we picked up in the spring, we probably won't. Probably not. We probably won't need it again. But this time it was. Uh, a lot of times we trade out for that. For that. A lot of times we trade camper space for it. Did he say it was the, was it North Park? I mean, I, I remember when uh, did we used to contract it before at the time. We have off and on. Yeah. Then times we took our own stuff up right now. Yeah. Uh, also on Asphalt Materials Incorporated, uh, Emulsion, what, what is that? That's the stuff that makes this for the chip and sale, the oil. The chip and sale oil. Uh, two tankers of it though? That's, I mean, there was a PO issue in the sanctuary, yeah. Well, I mean, I'd like to know where it went. That may be the loads that went to the repairs. Been, we've used that oil for a lot of road repairs lately um, around. Now, it wasn't designated to any particular road. It was just set of construction materials. Yeah, it, it was repair. I mean, that's uh, It don't come from me. It's not like we're chipping still on the solid road for one of the districts. It's just basically repair when that's a more efficient way to repair than with the pothole patcher and the but that's over two right. acres of wool. That's that's a lot of repair. I was just uh, if, if we hadn't had that, we'd had that in the chip in the coal mix or something. We used to have a coal patch, and, a, and this is a more efficient way than the coal patch. Could I get? Could I find out where this went? We can ask the the uh, boat supervisor. I can know. A uh, one great stretch of it was on a uh, road that's falling apart, and we was going to lose a blacktop road in. Uh, Larry's district, it was a dog walk. There's a quite a bit there, but it was absolutely needed. 
there's a blacktop road we say. Uh, I know they're all needed. That's, pro that's probably one tank up one there, yeah. probably. How much of it was fog covered? Fog covered. Well, well, fog covered. Some of it was. Asphalt material. Oh, yeah, Humble Valley. You had one too, Humble Valley. You had a great deal of on Humble Valley. Had a, where we had to cut down the whole big uh, well, thing. I know there was a tower there we replaced. Yeah, and, and we and cut down a big stretch and, and we uh, passed a big section there on, on Humble Valley. <coughs> so that's part of it. It was all over the place, just for repairs. Uh, well, I'd like to, from henceforward then, if we can, uh, I'd just like to know where it's put down at and where it's patched at, and not that I'm not disagreeing with the dean, I just like to know where it went to. Was that a and you can't have twenty three thousand dollars on the bills and claims and not know where it went to. Well, I mean it, that's where it went, but I can I can as far as what how many roads we passed and where they were, I could find that out. Hey guys, if you can speak up. Like I've asked I can't hear So asphalt services though, is that I thought we bought a tanker one time. Do we buy do do we spread? Pack. Well no no, that's no, just the oil. Just we used our oil. So yeah. is that all for fall, fall coding? I can't, I don't think so, but I couldn't answer that for sure. I don't know, it wouldn't have been that much just for fall But who's going to lay the fall code down? We did. We did. That's what I was going to say. We've got, okay. Well, what you do is when, a black, when you're shipping seal on a patch on a black top road, you don't want it to look gravelly over that, so we come back and, and that, you know how that little fine stuff comes off? You come up with a fog coat and it seals it, it seals in, it and it puts yeah. it back like a new uh, black top. Now there was one, some of that oil come out of my discretionary money for Fifth District too. Not on this. It should have. I'll get that straight now. If we could, if we could, if I may make a, an appeal to the court, if we could from now on, I'd just like to, when we, especially when we buy a tanker oil, which is about eight or nine, ten thousand dollars, and then throw the two tankers here that we purchased, I'd just like to, whether it's my district or anybody else's district, I'd just like to be informed of where it's going. Well, I'll, I'll ask for a breakdown as much as I can. Well, I, I don't think, I think we need to know. You know, it's not a question of whether we ask them. It's something I don't yeah, know. I don't think. Okay, that's all good. All right. Any other questions? Discussions, I mean? None? All in favor say aye. Uh, uh, Opposed like sign. Uh, next, as you know, if you remember from the the last, uh, if you could work your way down through the crowd, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, well, as y'all recall, we advertised for a uh, truck for uh, uh, litter abatement, or emergency management. Both, they're together, sort of. It's a litter abatement. They're, look, they're together. <laughs> and uh, we advertised for that, and we do have a bid. And at this time, I have it to uh, uh, Joe Barnes to open and read to us. I got just one bid here from Moore Chrysler. So they don't cut your fingers. Yeah. I don't want to cut those. I think they're covering it up. That way. Turn it. Looks like we're going to be working on it now. All right. We got it. I guess we can start calling them every school day. 2021 new half ton crew cab 4x4 with a 5 setting bid is uh, $34,327. They've gone up about five grand since we bought the last. Uh, half ton. Uh, 2021 new three quarter ton crew cab 4x4 with a 6 4 bed is $33,348. <laughs> so it's flat. <laughs> Bad, well, it's, one's a half ton, one's a. I, I know. So, it's, you just think of it being the opposite of that. That's that's what they call it. Said the breakdown of the trucks, so you can get them now cheaper than wait after the first of the year. So. Mm -hmm. 
But it might have been they had one of those on the lot or something. <laughs> close to you or something. Lots of times they have left over models. Even loaner back the loaner vehicles. Yeah, come think of 2020s are the going out now. They've been going out since August. Or was this 20 or 2020 or 2021? 2021. We don't want a 20, everybody. We don't want to take a 20 on the end of the Where are we going to get this? Where all the money is going to come out of? Uh, it comes from uh, where uh, litter, the state litter program pays that. fairly. That's repaid back, right? And, but, and it's already, he you collects got, it ahead. You have 20, you have some money in, already in there? Well, here's the thing, and this is more of an end question because we started this several years ago. And I think Joe asked to put it in a different pot, but I think it goes in the general fund, and I can't honestly tell how I that works. I have a line item for capital uh, assets purchase, and we've got enough in there to purchase it. At, at one time, I did ask. Is that, that the whole amount? Mm -hmm. Or the life of okay. I, At one time, I did ask to put it in a different, but we, we, we decided not to. But that was so we wouldn't hinder being able to. Cycle out the old trucks for new trucks. But uh, the last uh, sheet I did, I think you're maybe maybe a month or two away from having the last one paid for, correct. and would have already been paid for except for COVID. COVID, yes. All do, of this. Do we have a uh, motion from that, John? Uh, I I make a motion for the 2021 three quarter ton crew cab at okay. 30. $33,348. Second. I have a motion by Joe Barnes, second to Sam Small, to purchase this truck from Mower for $33,348. Can we have a little purchase? Discussion now. Can we ever figure out any gas in my fuel while they tell me to be No, uh. Not, not exact. Uh, I've had, actually, I've, it, uh, we should do that. Uh, I know the one that's here at the office on one trip to Louisville and back, which I don't know how good that is, it disappointed me it only got 17 miles a gallon. They're uh, same engine in both of them? No, about 15, three quarter times got the six four. You six can't get that bigger motor. Yeah. So it's more powerful, it'll pull a lot more. I mean, I mean, there's no doubt it being cheaper than that one, that's the way to go. It's just that. It kind of shocks me that you get three quarters cheaper than a package. What we kind of at one time talked about is then that way we could rotate them into any department and put the snow plows on them, any of them, because we'd have the we'd have three quarter time. Yeah. And then uh, Charlie's been what's actually worked out pretty good is on that is uh they can pull the the dump trailer and the skid steer with the yeah. two separate trucks instead of having to borrow one from one of the other departments. Yeah, I think that's good. And skid steers, when you put that trailer and the skid steer and everything behind it, how much we get behind it now? 16,000 pounds? Right, it's 16 to, yeah, I'm not good. These are dogs. Well, yes, the, the, only, the only thing I would say is that is correct, and I couldn't concur more, but there's so many times that you don't need a, quite frankly, you don't need a four-wheel drive. You can use a two-wheel drive, short big pickup, or whatever. But I know the I know the needs there. But we got several trucks that can pull that now. And I was just thinking, trying to save a little money on fuel pumps. It's the only thing. How are we on salt for this winter, Judge? Well, uh, I was aiming to bring that up under the committee reports, but uh, we're okay. Uh, since I got the question early, I go and answer it early. But I'll explain more or like we're good. Um, is there further discussion on the purchase of the truck? Ben, then you better roll call it, Miranda. Olaf? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Warfield? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay, the uh, truck, and, and uh, is it okay, Joe? Uh, I'll address the writing of the check. Yes. Okay, that, add that to the motion. And just a quick Google search early. Uh, and this is quick, it ain't putting a lot of specifics in, a difference between the 17 miles a gallon and 21. Four miles a So, well, yeah. that's quick, I don't pull my, I mean, that's just flip it to real quick. Well, my, the one I've got here must think it's a three quarter. <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, the only thing about the three quarters that's different to me is uh, uh, they ride rougher and they're harder to climb up in. But other than that, uh, next, I want to give y'all the update on the COVID. It, it, it concerns you guys a whole lot. It concerns us all. Uh, uh, the COVID report. It concerns us all because our county's not good. Uh, we've been in the red zone a whole lot of the last week. Uh, I think maybe we was out of it one day, but we've been we're back there today. Uh, but that's alarming. Uh, that means that we can have in-person meetings uh, of the in the county anywhere. We can't have any sort of event at all while we're in the red zone. Uh, so I'm, I'm not even real sure about our fiscal court meeting, but we've always done it this way and we've all always agreed to do it. But I'm not even sure that, of this, but there can't be any gatherings here at all while we're in the red zone. Uh, right now we have 83 people in our county that are sick. We've had another one die in the last few days that made a report today. Uh, knew the gentleman and uh, he, uh, uh, he, he died of, of the COVID. Uh, wasn't hospitalized or it wasn't a weak or sick person or anything like that. They got it and, and this disease took them out. So I, I worry that people will think that this is a disease that attacks sick and old people and kills them and it killed uh, younger healthy people as well. Uh, so it's something we just can't take lightly. We've had at this point three county employees to have it. Um, and uh, one is still off very sick. One's still off just waiting for the 10 days to pass from their last symptom. Uh, and one has returned to work. Uh, the ones that returned to work had time to be very ill. This is not, this is not a bad cold or end on grown toenail. I mean, this is a serious disease, and we've got to take it that way. We don't know all the things that we can do to prevent it. Uh, we do know that social distancing helps. We do know that uh, wearing these masks helps. It's not foolproof, but if anything, it, it does help, and it's a symbol that we care uh, and want to cooperate. I think people wearing their masks shows that they care. Uh, even if you believe that that's not the best way to prevent the spread. It's the best that we know. And, and it's mandated. It's not really an option. Uh, we're trying to encourage the businesses to uh, do a good job uh, enforcing the mask and the social distancing. Uh, I've been really proud of some of our businesses, how they've done it, how, they, how well they have done. Uh, including when I visited Forestville the other day, uh, they did a really well, a really good job of, of their uh, social distancing. Uh, uh, but folks, let's just take it seriously and do our part in trying to prevent the spread of this. If I were making a forecast, not being a medical professional or anything like that, but just seeing what I can observe I'm going to say that we're in this until next summer. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that that's even the end of it. But I, I expect it to get worse all through the winter months. Uh, and I would be glad to take a $10 bet from any of you and be glad to lose it if I was wrong. But I, I think it will be that long before we see any relief from it. I really do. I think a lot of it depends on if they come up with a uh, a cure for the a medicine. They got. A vaccine, a vaccine. And, a, and a treat. Yes, sir. You're right, Larry. Uh, now we're going to get the committee reports, and we'll call on at least three of you to make committee reports. But uh, I'm going to answer Larry's uh, uh, thing <coughs> on the, on the uh, salt. We're in pretty good shape in salt. 
the real good news is we didn't have a bad winter last winter at all, and the year before that we didn't have a very bad one, meaning that our salt is old. So I'm having them to start working on it and try to dig it out and try to uncrumble it, if you will, get ready to load, because it's set up. Well, last year we added some sand to it to hope that would keep it from clumping. It didn't, didn't help a bit. So uh, we're going to do that, and then we've got a commitment where we can buy to replenish it as, the, uh, as this is to play. But it's very important, I think, to get this out before we go. According to the forecasters and Nino and all that, that swoops down or whatever, we're supposed to have a mile water again. Well, I hope you're right. The woolly worm says different. We've been woolly worms. Woolly worms and the persimmons say both says it's bad. What are they talking about? You know, the last couple of winters, 10 miles. Yeah, we have. And, and that's another reason on our salt being there is because we've actually had some from winter before last, which was mild. We didn't use near all of it. And then we stacked the new uh, supply for last year in front of it. So we've got a lot of going through to get through our salt. Do you foresee that we can revive this? Yes. It's going to take some work. Uh, another thing, the road department, the new tractor came in, but the new cutter has not. It should be there real soon. Uh, but the, but the uh, tractor's out there. Boy, it's beautiful. It's just as green and pretty as it can be. Uh, yeah. It's just, it is, so we're just waiting for the new equipment to come in to go behind it. And, uh, and it's not the same, it's not the same brand. The, the cutter goes behind, it's not the same brand as the tractor. So I don't know if, I, if it's going to be a big color scheme problem or not. I, think, I don't think it'll matter after a couple of years. Yeah, uh, it might be green. green it'll be like green it. after you get all those weeds on top of it. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna put. You, you said I need to change my material, my levity. I'm changing it. Uh, I interviewed some of the workers about the different brands of cutters. They said some of it did better in a rip wrap, and others done better on fence tops. So. <laughs> that's, that's pretty close. That's probably both. No, uh, that's that is a joke because you can't. If you're mowing the roadside, you can't see in them weeds. You're going to hit rocks. You're going to hit fence posts. It's just a given that it's going to happen. So you can say it that way. Okay. Uh, next, uh, uh, committee reports. I know you've got one, Jason. I've got just two things to report. Um, just going to announce. I think we'll. I don't know if we won't have another meeting, but our mental health committee. Our mental health committee meeting, the next one is going to be November 10th at 10 a.m. and it's here in the community center. And if you're welcome to come by, it's uh, November 10th at 10 a.m. and that's the mental health committee. We're going to get back and then we'll meet here in the old um, the old courtroom uh, next door. So uh, anybody's welcome to come. Okay, uh, secondly, I just want to go ahead and present that Ottoman area. If you want, is that okay to go right now? Please. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and present something to you. Ottoman Area has asked us for uh, a help with some funding for foster grandparent program, senior companion program, and a retired uh, senior volunteer program, which is RSVP uh, program. Um, foster grandparents, they go into schools and kind of help with kids. Uh, I think there's 19 of them right now. Um, yeah, kids are being helped plus the senior companion. There's five clients in the county they're working with. And the RSVP program is ones where uh, people working at the hospital to help out, um, the food pantry, and Habitat for Humanity. So the programs like that, that they're being paid to work through through these programs. And it helps those out too, because you know the food pantry and the hospital, those are all great programs around here. But what they're needing is for the three programs, it's $2,750. I think we've done this. I know ever since I've been on the court. Uh, so what I'm asking is that the court pay $2,750 to support, support these programs and just take it out of the reserves. I so, thought the food pantry was uh, It's volunteer too, it is. Well, they need money. It's, they're not, the food pantry's not meeting, needing money. This is the RSVP program. That's just one of the things that they help contribute to too as far as 
they go volunteer and work there too. The hospital, I was just using some examples of things in the community that they help in. So, do I have a second? Yeah, I'll second by uh, Larry King. Vote for Jason Bull, second by Larry King. Further discussion? Most of those people, uh, Jason, are volunteers anyway, aren't they? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and like I said, these programs, and I think uh, I'm looking here, a couple of these foster grandparents, I think they're in Fort Elementary and Wayland Elementary, they're helping out, so they go in and help kids read and stuff like that too. It's just, it's helping community agencies like that, but it's also helping elderly people have things to do and kind of giving them a little income and them being able to help in the community too. So it's helping two different ways. And it's not high wages either. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Right. okay. How long can the court keep digging into the reserves, support <coughs> stuff like this? So the reserves get pretty slammed. It could, yes. I checked on far bought it up. I know we've been doing this. I know for at least fourteen years. Uh, I don't know about beyond that, but. It done it every year since I've been on the court. Okay, all in favor say aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Uh, something I want to hurry up before we get to. Uh, want to say hurriedly before we go in. What's the dates of the court meetings now? November seventeenth and December fifteenth. Yeah, the uh, what's the name? holidays and stuff fall uh, in those two months. And we typically only have one meeting in November and one in December. And I got with Ann on which day as far as paying the bills would work if you only had one meeting those two months. And we think we can get by with doing one the 17th and right. one the 15th. And November the 17th? Yeah, and December the 15th. And December the 17th. At five? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And so, uh, but it's just because it's going to be followed right into the holiday weeks if we don't. November the 17th and December the 15th. Yes. So I want to present that to you. Is there any other committee reports? So does that mean there's only one meeting? Each month, okay. yes. Just up check. Yeah, no, I thank you for doing that, but that's right, one meeting for each one of those. Some people have been known to forget a meeting. <laughs> yeah, big, 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 big. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Uh, one week, one time there was a, a a cam that thought it was a week after that, and one time there was a cam that showed it a week early. But uh, I'm not gonna call off the full name. I gotta, I gotta find a happy medium. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other committee reports? If there's not, let's pull the magistrates. We'll start with you, Sam Small, District One. Uh, I have nothing. Just uh, want to make sure everybody gets out and votes and uh, be safe and, and get it done. Yes. That's all I have. Jason. No, thank you. Joe. No, thank you. Larry. Larry. Uh, I've turned it in. It still had not got done. Where Salem Church <coughs> Road intersects with Salem Road, it needs to be mow trimmed. It is very dangerous pulling out there. Okay, if it's not done, we'll get it because we actually thought it was. But I'm going to double check on that in the morning. We thought it was done, but they got it today if it's done. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, clear, I'll, I'll make sure we clarify that and then uh, somebody will get out there and do it. Justin, you, I know you do. We've been yep. talking about it. Yeah, Judge, uh, uh, we've discussed today, and I think I'd entertain the court to take this motion into consideration. And it would be to transfer and exchange by deed certain real estate owned by Ohio County Fiscal Court and the Ohio County Airport Board. Uh, specifically, the county would be exchanging a 2.167 acres tract of land located at the Ohio County Park, uh, which has been appraised at $6,500, to the Ohio County Airport Board and would receive a uh, 0.391 acre tract of land appraised at $23,000 from the Ohio County Airport Board, which is which is currently located on, a, on the airport property. Uh, the reason is uh, for economic development purposes, considering the grant the airport received to build additional T-hangers, 
and for to allow the judge executive to execute those deeds regarding the property and any conversion of property, property to considering the exchange. I'll take that motion you just read and put it in the form of a motion. Uh -huh. I'll second. Have a motion by Sam Spoff, second by Joe Barnes. Further discussion? Being that, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Uh, anybody else have anything for the good of the body? If there's not, if the one has anything else, we call this meeting. Uh, did uh, did you get the bid back on the truck? Okay.